Okay, so my district is both an Office 365 and a Schoology district. So this is how to embed your online Word, online Excel, or online PowerPoint within Schoology. So instead of having it where students have to click on it and go out of Schoology, they're going to actually be able to view these items in Schoology. Um, right there and then. So I'm right now in an Office 365 folder and I'm just going to go ahead and add a page for me to work in. You'll obviously be in whatever part of Schoology that you need to be in. Um, in my online office I got through, it does need to be the online version because that's the part that's going to let me make a, uh, a link because uh, it lives online. And so in that online version I would go into my online Microsoft portal my online OneDrive and get all the way to my online Word or online Excel or online PowerPoint. Once I'm in that online PowerPoint, um, you'll notice normally this is where I could go and I could press edit in Word or edit in browser. And instead what we're going to do is we're going to grab the embed code. The embed code is in the menu. It looks like it's ellipses right here. And you can see where it says embedded. So I can click here and I can get the embed code right here. Um, I can definitely increase the um, width if I so chose. Um, so let's do 600. Um, so that could be my 600, and maybe I'll make this, I don't know, 350. And this will change my um, embed codes down here. So once I have exactly what I want, I can go ahead and I can copy this. And when I come back to my Schoology, you'll see. Um, there in my Office 365. Sorry, I got a little extra thing in here. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Here we go. Um, so inside of my um, page, I have a little example page, and I'm going to go in and I need to put on my embed code. And so I need to switch it over to HTML. So over on the right hand side, instead of being visual, I want to switch it to HTML. So I'm going to press that. I'm going to paste, and I can go back to visual if I so chose. Anything that's a uh, embedded link will always look uh, orange, this orangey yellow color, and then I can press save changes. Yeah. Once I'm in there, it's you're going to see it's a load up for a second. You also see you're going to be able to make it full screen. Students will also be able to copy or to print, uh, to download copy or to print to PDF, so they can go back and look at it. Um, there's also, let me go ahead and make it full screen just so you can see how easy that is, and it'll pop it out. Now it gives me full rights to everything since this is my document, but if I was a student I would have a couple different things different, like so I would not be able to share, for example, um, just because this is an embedded form. So then I'm able to go through and look at this Word document, and it's embedded. Now the reason why embedded here would make more sense than doing like let's say uploading it to Schoology is that when I'm in my online Word if I go in and change anything in here I see that there's a typo and I go and fix it it will translate right here I won't have to go re-upload anything so when in doubt always try to use a living link to an online Word document or to the online PowerPoint um, because as you save those changes and you make those changes that way you only have one version of one thing and it doesn't get into this crazy hydra full of all these different sorts of things. Um, just another quick reminder for um, any time you're doing one of the um, one of the, the pages. So right now as is, I would have to click on where it says example in order to see it. I can always go to and click down at the bottom and where instead of it displaying on a new page when you click the link um, I can actually display in line. So that's this display in line. It's going to make it where I don't have to click in here in order to see my embedded. Um, so it's kind of up to you. You can see that it is it's fairly small, but it gives you kind of what you need to know and it does let students pop things out and see it a little bit more closely. So that's how you can embed it very easily um, for students to see directions, handouts, graphic organizers, and things of that nature.